how to post a job on LinkedIn for free. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with hiring people on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an online platform that most people use for job hunting, which means that it is the best place to find the best talent for your particular position, may it be in project management, HR, or anything else. So let's jump right in to how we can hire on LinkedIn. Now, most people already have a LinkedIn account, but did you know that you can use your same account to post job advertisements on LinkedIn? Simply log on to your LinkedIn account, then hover over the me section. Just beside the me section, you're going to see a section called for business. Click on for business. Then you will see a section under for business called explore more for business. Click on post a job for free. Once you do that, this will open up a new portal. In this, you will be allowed to post a job for your particular company. So let's say my company is going to be Lily's Design Studio. And then the job title is going to be a project manager. Then let's say the workplace type is going to be hybrid. Then after that, we are going to add the job location. So let's say it is over here like so or like that. So I'll just add a job location. Now, after that, we can add the job type, whether this is going to be a full-time job, which means that it is going to offer more than around 50 hours a week, then whether it's a part-time job, a contractual job, which means you contract the employee for a couple of months until the project or the work is completed, whether it's a temporary job, temporary jobs usually mean that the person that is being hired can be laid off at any time. They are usually just there to fill in a vacant spot for someone to be hired permanently or for someone to come back from vacation or from any other ailment. Then we also have other volunteers or interns. So let's say this is going to be a full-time job. Now, after that, you can proceed with writing with AI in LinkedIn. This allows you to build more descriptive job descriptions, job skills that are required. But if you want to write on your own, you can also do that. But I would recommend that if you're uncertain about the key elements of your job or how to phrase them, you can easily use LinkedIn's AI to get started. Click on write with AI to make your job a little easier. Now, after that, you are going to add your description. So you'll see at the bottom, it has certain skills selected. Now, I am going to be using ChatGPT to write a job description. Write a job description for a project manager for a retail store launch like this. And then it will write my job description for me like this. And it's writing all the information. I obviously recommend that if you go with this strategy of using AI tools like ChatGPT or LinkedIn's AI, you need to ensure that what they are writing is accurate. So make sure to go through each and every word that the AI writes to ensure that they are going to be in congruence with your own job descriptions, job qualifications, and job skills required. So if you are sure that everything is perfect, you are going to copy it all like this, and then you can go back into LinkedIn and provide your description. Now, you will see that we have our all the information listed, and after that, we have our skills. Now, in your skills, you will see different sources. So let's say we are just going to add TV. And then after that, we can add multiple different skills. Let's say I don't require negotiation as a major skill. Instead, I require design or business development. So let's say I have product design as a more interesting skill that I might want or new store development. Yeah. So let's say that is something I'm looking for instead of 
things like maybe uh, teamwork or English or budgeting. Let's say I'm looking for, I do think finances or budgeting are going to be a skill I would look for. The budgeting as well as let's say we are looking for new store openings. After that, click on next over here. And once you click on next, you are going to add how you are going to receive qualified applicants. Whether you want to use your external website for your hiring, or if you want to use your email address to be able to hire people. So if I want to use my email address, I will just input the preferred email address, and then we can add some screening questions. So let's say this is having a bachelor's degree is a must have for project management in my studio. So I will require this to be a screening question because when you're posting jobs on LinkedIn, you're going to get hundreds and thousands of applications and you want to be able to screen them out before they are going to answer you. So how many years of work experience do you have with, let's say, project management? Yeah, so let's say this is going to be business project management and the ideal answer is one and this is a must-have qualification. Then I can add another screening question such as driver's license, drug tests, work experience. So let's say we want a person that has been a project manager for a minimum of four or three years and this is a must-have qualification. So when people are answering these questions, ideally you want them to answer truthfully and if they are not qualified, you will immediately know and you don't have to go through each and every individual applicant. Below that, you have your qualification settings. So filter out and send rejections to applicants that don't meet any of the must-have qualifications. Now you can also add certain other qualifications that are not must-have, but when you receive a bunch of different qualified applicants, it's easier to go through the top tier applicants when you have certain screening questions to know which ones are ranking higher generally with those screening questions. Below that, you also have a preview of your rejection email and you can click on continue over here. Now, once you do that, you will be able to see two ways to get qualified applicants. You can either promote your job listing or create a free job listing. On the free version, there are 10 estimated monthly applicants and it is shown on search results. So if someone searches for a project manager's position on LinkedIn, then they will be shown this listing. Whereas if you promote it, you can do things such as be shown at the top of search results, get three times more qualified applicants with no applicant limits, have top placement in job recommendations, send instant mobile alerts to qualified candidates, as well as be instantly notified when you have qualified candidates apply. You can choose a particular budget for daily or total campaigns to be able to run your advertisement for ads, but I would recommend you can go with the free version and then post without promoting. Once you click on post without promoting, your LinkedIn job will be posted. Simply log in to your LinkedIn Talent Solutions account to proceed with your job posting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.